missed half the game last week due to concussion, so they were just, our training staff was really good at what they do, so they just took their precautions to, that they were told to do as their training staff, so um, I'm ready to go on yeah. by this weekend. Zach, what, what kind of advances have you seen on the defensive line as the year progresses? Uh, we've took tremendous steps this year. Um, it seems that every game we seem to find a way to get better and better. We, uh, it's fun watching our defense do well. And when our D-line does well, our DBs do well. When our linebackers do well, our defense does well. So as long as we keep working as a unit and we're progressing as a defense, we'll keep getting better and better. What do you know about Portland State? Uh, they got a pretty big quarterback. He's a big kid. Um, they like to run the ball. They got some guys up front that are pretty big, but as far as that, we're going to brush up on Portland State uh, today in position injuries. Are they as good as they were last year? Are they better? Um, I would say they're better. I think every team could be better every year, but it depends on how they play on Saturday and what they've done in the past. So um, maybe their record speaks for themselves. I'm not really sure. Zach, kind of feel it seems like in some of your games it's almost a tale of two different teams home and the road. What are the biggest differences that you guys are seeing um, between home and road games that, that might change the, the way the games play out? Um, just the difference of being home and away. Like the away crowds is your fan isn't as big, but we've had great support on the road, which is cool because um, we definitely hear them, we definitely feel them on the way. But when it's home, it's a totally different environment. It's just. I mean, those people are there for you, the crowd's rock, and everything's loud. Um, as far as our play on the road, we've, I enjoy playing on the road. I've enjoyed everything we've done on the road. Um, we've found a way to win every single week. We play on the road. So um, as far as that goes, we really see what adversity we see on the road. But when it comes to playing at home, man, we, we enjoy it. We enjoy the fans. We enjoy the support. But we just, that's our, that's our home. That's our place to play. So it's, it's really nice playing at home. In terms of taking the next step for this defense, do you feel like if you put together forcing turnovers and then cutting down those penalties and those big plays, would that be the perfect game for you? And have you seen it yet as a defense? I mean, we've definitely shown that we can play a very good game, almost perfect. Um, we did. We had a couple penalties last game that we'd like to take control of. We like as a defense, we want to control what we can control, and uh, we can definitely control those penalties. So. Um, as far as taking the next step, we, we definitely have the talent and the mindset. We definitely have guys that are smart enough to every down do what they have to do as a position group. So um, we definitely can still play better football, and we definitely look forward to taking uh, bigger and better steps toward a uh, good defense. In terms of the offense, now they uh, have gone eight straight quarters without committing a turnover. Just how great does that feel to see the other side of the ball play very efficiently? Um, like Coach Ash says, it's about the ball. It really is. And when you can protect the ball and take away the ball, um, it definitely changes the field position. It changes the momentum. It, I mean, those are crucial, especially when it's at the end of a game or um, when it comes down to getting the ball and where you need to get it to score. So uh, our office did a great job last year protecting the ball. We did a good job getting after the ball. And if we can play like that throughout the rest of the season, I think we'll have good results. On the flip side of that, one thing Jody talked about last week was that the defense didn't cause a turnover against North Dakota and how important of an aspect that is, even when you guys play such a complete game like that. Talk to me about it as far as on the defensive side, how important uh, forcing turnovers is to your guys' defensive unit. Well, we stress it all the time in practice, and we try to catch as many interceptions and strip and get out the ball as much as we can so it becomes habit. So when we get turnovers in games, I mean, it's just it's just like practice, and if you practice how you play, or if you practice the way you want to play, that's how you play. So, um, but not getting any turnovers for some of the issue or um, North Dakota, and then still having that good performance that just shows that we are able to play good football, get three and outs, and get the ball back to the offense. And so, um, that's what our defense works on is just getting turnovers and getting the ball back to the offense and in good field position too. So, we just work together as an O and D to make sure we can um, get the win. I've been through your safeties play this year. It seems like when there needs to be a big play to be made, that Joe Fuller, Stephen Beth, that comes with and makes that game-winning, uh, clutching interception. Uh, it's awesome. It's great to watch, especially when um, myself, I wasn't actually able to watch or able to play, so I was just sitting on the side just like everyone else was or everyone that was watching at home. So when it actually does go down, it's crazy. I think Joe Fuller is a great player. I mean, um, that 
we've been friends for a long time. We actually used to room together. And so watching him grow as much as he has and actually make that play brought tears to my eyes, especially knowing how big of a situation it was. I mean, Stephen Bethley's a great player, too. He was a young cat coming in, and he really stepped up his role. He's putting playing really well. So um, just our whole back of the defense, they help us do what we do up front. So when they play well, we play well. And, I mean, Deontay Flowers and Darius Jones have done well, too. Darius had a great game also. So um, it's just good to watch people excel like that. I mean, uh, it's been four years, and just to watch the guys, you know, have fun out there when they make good plays and watch everyone celebrate, it's, that's what you do it for. So. Zach, this senior class has won more games than any senior class in history. How, what kind of growth have you seen since you came here? Uh, I've seen it's. I've seen a lot of growth. I've seen not just in football, but just as people. I've seen guys mature a lot through what we've gone through as a team, as a defense. And I mean, some guys struggle with stuff individuals. So it's just good to watch them grow from us being freshmen to you know us growing into men. But as far as football goes, um, I've seen the leadership just go out the roof. I mean, way better than I've ever seen anyone lead here. So that's good to see. And, um, it's good to watch the older guys take some of the younger guys that are playing this year under their wing, too. So um, just as far as our leadership and the way we treat each other, I think it's been a great, great um, experience for our seniors. Zach, first of all, I have a birthday. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but what, what, taking, the, taking the field as, as, for the regular season is the last time as a senior class. I mean, how important is it for you guys to get that win to take one more step forward towards maybe secure another home team? Oh, well, it's very important. I mean, you can think of all the things that fall down to what happens if we don't win or if we do win. And so, I mean, for us, it's just taking the next step, not looking forward to any other games, not looking forward to the greatest players, but taking any step at a time. And so we want to go away. We want to play well. We want to do as much as we can to make sure we play perfect football and just securing uh, what we can for the games to come. So, and, of course, we want to win at home, too. So. Does it, does it seem like kind of a, a perfect situation where you get to play your senior day, and if you guys do win, Coach Ash becomes the all-time winner in school history? Yeah, it's, I mean, I think Coach Ash deserves a lot of credit because um, when he got here, you know, he had some work to do. And just the way the program has progressed as it has, and the people he's brought in, and the decisions that he's made, I think he deserves a lot of credit. And for us to get him as many wins as we can, um, that's our job. So. That's, that's cool watching him do that. Can you talk to a little bit about Brian Bignell and kind of what he brings as a pass rushing defensive tackle right alongside you? Uh, he brings a lot to the table. I mean, his first game back, he had two sacks. And so uh, he's crafty in what he does. He does a really good job of pass rushing. Um, and he knows how to play the game. He's really good at run reads. And Brian Bignell is a very important asset to our D line, especially on third down. So it's good to watch him come in on right now. Can you talk a little bit about Caleb and kind of just his ability to rise to the occasion, especially towards the end of games? Yeah, I mean, I, I, tell, him, I tell our team that all the time. I mean, when you can count on somebody like Caleb to come up and make a big stop and make a big sack and create a turnover, I mean, it's almost like he's there every time. So when you have a guy like that that's also a captain on the team and steps up to those roles and steps up to the challenge, I mean, you're just kind of not saying that you're waiting for him to make that play, but you have you put so much faith in our defense and – as a player, Caleb, to make those plays. So he does a really good job and does a good job in the team. So I'm just happy he's on our side. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate it.